welcome back to Opal and Mint. I am Ashley and today I'm going to show you how I travel with my watercolors. So I like to have some supplies with me, whether I have to sit in the car for a little while, whether I want to paint while I'm at lunch, or if I'm going somewhere and I want to actually paint outside. So I'm going to show you how I use my brand new Peg and All Artist Roll. This is the, I think, Syndac. I don't know how you pronounce that, but here it is. It's beautiful. It is ridiculously expensive. I'm not saying you need this by any means. Um, but I fell in love with it and I wanted to have it. And it holds everything I need except for a water cup. I need to get like a collapsible one to clip on it. Um, anyways, so I'm going to show you how I travel with this and how I can paint while I am out and about. I want to show you the artist brush roll from Peganol and my travel palette a little bit more up close. <laughs> I want to talk about what all I put in this and talk about the things I love or don't love about this and also talk just a little bit about the travel palette that I used. So let's get into the Peganol, the Syndac. I don't, again, I wish I knew how to say that for sure, but um, this does come in two different sizes and I believe this is the bigger size. Um, so this is $174. So why did I buy this? Because I wanted it. It's so pretty. So yes, this is very expensive. Um, and I honestly, I looked and looked for alternatives that were, you know, even a hundred dollars, you know, some cheaper than this, but I couldn't find anything that had everything that this one does. So I'm going to explain why I love this, what I pack in it, and then you can determine whether it's worth your money because honestly, that is a lot of money. And if you don't paint a lot and you're not going to use it, probably not worth it. Um, but for me, I like being able to just take it and go and paint when I'm out or just sit on the couch and paint with it even. So let's dive into this. Here is the Peg and All Artist Brush Roll. This is the large size. Here is what I have in whoop, this part. So I have a pencil. This is from Tombow. This is the monograph sketching pencil. And then I have my brushes here. It's funny, when we were filming the B-roll um, of me painting, I took this out, Kylie was filming me, and I twisted this and pulled it out, and her jaw dropped. She didn't know what this was, and um, so she's like filming, and she's just like, <laughs> she had no idea it was a brush, so she was like completely shocked by that. I but thought it was a pen. <laughs> yeah. So, there's that. I have a set of three of these. I got these on Amazon and supposedly the real squirrel hair 
but they were only like $19 or something like that, so I don't know if they are. But either way, they work great and I love them. Um, and they are you know, very protected because they're in that metal case. So I have three sizes of those and then I have these. Um, before I get into the rest of it, I do want to note something that you do need travel brushes to fit in this or shorter brushes. So going through my brushes, deciding what to put in here, I had a hard time finding ones that were short enough to fit in here. Um, these four fit, but even this Princeton Aqua Elite is just a little bit too tall. Um, it's not much taller than those, but it, it will get bent if I close that. So keep that in mind if you have, I mean, even this is not a tall brush, but it's just, it's just a tiny bit taller than these. And, um, yeah, I can't, I can't travel with that one. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah. So that is one downside is I wish it was just like a half an inch, a half an inch taller because a lot of my brushes just barely don't fit clip which holds my travel palette I'll show you in a second and then here is my Christy Rice palette so in this pocket right here fits a full size a full size little palette <laughs> you know these what are these 12 pan palettes and um, yeah so I have a lot of these that like you can just fill with whatever colors but this is the Christy Rice making art for joy's sake palette and I enjoy this I like the colors in here for travel because they're very versatile I've got bright colors and muted colors. And then in the back, so you fold that down and then in the back is where I have my paper and my little travel palette. So this is the travel palette. My husband actually bought this for me and I was skeptical at first because I'm like, it's so tiny, it's not gonna hold enough paint. But really, watercolor goes so far, um, it holds plenty of paint and there's like 15 colors or something in here. So um, I also, I love the magnets. I don't know why. It's satisfying. Um, but it, it will come apart easily, so that's what the clip is for. Ooh. Who's texting me? That's what the clip is for, and it holds it together like that. And this is not the clip that came with it. It came with a smaller one, but I just switched it out for one that I had. So here is the little travel palette. I have my Daniel Smith paints in here and they, yes, they are little bitty tiny squares, like look how small that is, but again, it's more than enough paint and um, I thoroughly enjoy painting with this. And the mixing surface, even though it is like, you know, smaller than my palm, it actually is a very good mixing surface. So there's a cute little travel palette. So I fit two palettes in this um, brush roll thing. And then the paper that I carry in this back pocket here is just a five by seven, 100% cotton paper. And you can fit a like sketchbook style in there. Again, as long as it's like a five by seven ish size. Um, but this fits in there beautifully. And so I've got paper, I've got my brushes, my pencil, two palettes. All I'm missing is a water cup. So this, I like having it just loaded and ready to go. So I can just grab it on my way out the door or while I'm sitting on the couch, I can just pick it up and start painting. Um, I have everything I need right there. So this is the Peganol Artist Brush Roll and uh, I, I don't think I talked about what it's made of. This is like a waxed canvas. It feels very sturdy. It's gonna last forever. Um, and then it's got a leather or leather-ish strap. I think it's leather. Um, but I think it should be, real leather. It should be. for $174. I think it's real leather. Um, but I just love the way it looks. I love the functionality of it. And I love that it's something I want to bring with me and grab and I can fit this in, um, some of my purses, not all of them. Cause I have some small, some big, but anyways, yes, there it is. If you've been curious about this, um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them. But is it worth it? It is for me. It may not be for you. If you are debating on getting something like this or getting nice paints, go with the nice paints. But if you already have nice paints and you want to travel with them, you want to splurge or you want it for Christmas, I highly recommend it. It is good. It just costs a whole lot of money. Um, but I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy with it and I love it and I'm glad I got it. So. All right, but that is gonna wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy this, 
please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you want to see our future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, we have some fun, different kind of videos coming up, so stay tuned. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Bye. I'm so tired. The microphone just needs to turn itself on. I keep forgetting to turn the microphone on. Okay. <laughs> My acting skills um, are not so good. <laughs> I'm already smiling. <laughs> I don't know how actors ignore a camera. Like, I can't. Ignore the camera. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that looks like you're trying to avoid paparazzi. Damn. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna keep following you now. Bye. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I fell glasses right here. Oh, it's more my fault than your fault. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, I'm good then. <laughs>